welcome to Long Range Pursuit. Today, Chad Froughton is hunting mule deer with Doyle Moss of Mossback Guides and Outfitters in one of Utah's most coveted trophy mule deer areas, the Pontsagant Plateau. So we're looking for this buck. Um, we saw him last night. He's six on one side, uh, four on the other. He's just got a lot of junk. Um, pretty eager to see him. We've got some good trail cam footage of him. Um, you know, footage is really good. He's, he's definitely a good buck to look at. So we want to see if we can get a little bit better, uh, better, better view of him. See if we can break him down a little bit and see if he's the uh, he's the one that we want to take. Seven bucks in here, um, just nothing really. Uh, probably the biggest buck in here is about a 170 class four point. Really nice buck, but uh, but not the buck we're after. found him obviously right at, right at the last minute of shooting and we had him at uh, 175 yards he's with another pretty good buck um, we, we had to get reset up and uh, just couldn't put it together 175 we ended it but it's too dark I don't want to risk the shot I think we can I think we can ease back in here in the morning and have better luck with him. But he's here, he's not spooked. <sighs> Deer one, hunter zero. But hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll change tomorrow.
One on the left. One on the left. Yep. He's got his head down. It's smoking deer. He is a smoking deer. I think we just put a good round in, into the big one. Um, he jumped. He jumped really, really well. I think I hit him pretty good. A little bit tough to see him. There's, there's some more deer in there, which always worries me because sometimes those other deer will give him encouragement to get back up. So we're not gonna play. We're gonna play it really safe and see if we can get over there and get another look at him and see if he's down. This gun works gun. It's an amazing shooter. <laughs> that was 150. The night force optic. It was a, that was a good, good shot, I think. Good hit on him, maybe a little far back. A little bit far back, for sure. Oh, reload, go in. What an amazing deal. We see that buck from a long ways ago, a long ways away after we had nicked him this morning. Came over here, came underneath these cliffs, popped up embedded in this really thick oak. We stocked it here and glassed up his antlers and Chad put about a 110 yard shot on him. And he's a this beautiful, is a, beautiful buck. This is honestly though, this is at the point where like this is why you hired Doyle Moss because he gets it done. <laughs> Even when I didn't get it done, I mean I should have had him this morning. I don't know. We hit him, but not hard enough. But I mean, within 30 minutes, Doyle re relocated him, pulled him out of the brush, and I've saw it done time and time and time again. He's the best in the industry. Very deep. Look at him, Chad. Broke off a little bit of his cheater. He pounded him that last shot. Yeah. There we go. Whew, look at that wit. <laughs> Looks like he broke that cheater. He did. <laughs> Holy schmoly, buddy. There we go. <laughs> Way wider. <laughs> what a gorgeous deer. 
Look at that beautiful buck. Holy That's shit. what it's all about right there, huh? Yeah, it is. Look how wide that pig is. <laughs> he is wide. Look at all these extras on the back, extra on his beam. Yeah. Cheater over there. You pounded in this. <laughs> the second one there. The way he hunched up, I thought it was more a little bit farther I did back. too. I thought it was maybe back in here. But that, that's that, you know, that bullet. I mean, it just passes through. That's why I thought when he wasn't bleeding so much today, I thought, well, we're still going to get him. But We did. We did. <laughs> just had to put more of pressure on you, brother. I'm sorry about that. Jeez. But what a nice buck. Pretty. Blading. Thank you, Doyle. Some extras. Yeah, he's a good one. Lots of character, my friend. Yeah, I'm getting propped up for some amazing pictures. Ponsagon 2012, muzzleloader season. Don't get a lot better than that, does it? No. <laughs> Hunting apparel for long range pursuit provided by Sitka and Kennetrek Boots of Montana. License applications made through Cabela's Tags. Brought to you by Gunworks. G7 Optics, Night Force, Hornady, Flatline Ops, and Caldwell Shooting Supplies. Uh, we usually use a funnel, but... Do you have a funnel? <laughs> I In use... Mike's bag, I'm sure we you do. You do? <laughs> <But> that's okay. <laughs> you can do it three grains at a time.